So I thought you might like a look through my setup in my brand new bullet journal. I'm completely new to this. I haven't done a as you go because to be quite frank so far I've been at it for oh let me see four and a half nearly five hours and um, I don't know how to edit and speed up and voice over and all that crap so I'm just gonna take you through it what I've done so far. Now normally I use Filofax but to be quite honest it's bulky and it's heavy so I thought I'd give this a try. So here we are this is a journey through my bullet journal. Um, some of it's not done yet I still have a key to write in um, which I'm going to do and I'm going to colour code for members of my family. I haven't filled in the uh, index yet but this I'm really really proud of because I can't draw for toffee and um, yeah I spent a good hour doing that earlier on. Copied it off the internet. Just wish I hadn't gone a bit wrong there but never mind. This is my future log. I have not done a year because I don't see the point. The little calendars are here. I don't see the point of doing it twice. So I've missed it. I never look at it in my Philo. So I thought I would just leave it. Um, it's my first time doing anything like this. I'm quite proud of how this has turned out. Uh, so there you go. Um, this is going to be um, family info. So I'm going to probably do a box like I did on the future log. And each box is going to be dedicated to a family member. Um, so like it will have personal information such as their date of birth and national insurance number, um, their work or school schedule, um, any allergies or, you know, illnesses or anything like that that anybody might need to be aware of. I've got the information here. I have five children and sometimes uh, I forget. <laughs> sometimes I can't remember their bloody names, but there you go. This is going to be my 2018 goals. Um, such things as, oh, let me just check my little list here somewhere. Um, I want to improve my handwriting because to do this nice pretty cursive that I did in my uh, monthly tracker, I did all that in pencil first and I have to think about it. I want it to become natural for me to write like that. Um, I'd also like to learn calligraphy and brush lettering, which I'm going to have a go at. Um, I've got to lose weight and I'd like to decorate my house. So that's all going in here. I think I'll probably split it and put long term goals in here as well, because I'm certainly not going to fill up a page for my yearly goals. My life in pixels. Um, I drew it all out and then realised I didn't have room for a key unless I chucked it up here. So I've colour coded each letter. You know, so purple is an amazing day, green is a good day, uh, turquoise or teal is an okay day, red is a pain day, I suffer from chronic pain, uh, brown is a shitty day, and pink is stressful. And because I went a little bit mad on the old stationery front here, as you can see, oh, by the way, I don't know if you can see that, that's my rather stuffed photo, but yes, I went a bit mad on the stationery front and I can't remember what pen does what. So down here in pencil, I've just put which pen set it is that I'm using. And as you can see, because I got my journal today and I've had so much fun filling it out, it's been amazing. So that's brilliant. And on this one, I'm gonna track my cycle throughout the month so I know what I'm doing. I will put a key in here. I wanna fill this up, but I don't know what I'm gonna put here yet. This is gonna be my to buy list. Things that I want. And I'm gonna put over here, do I need it? Do I want it? And I might even number it priority, you know, one, two, three, three, uh, one being the highest priority and three being a mm, meh. Um, this is going to be level 10 life when I get around to it. Um, birthdays. Uh, debt tracker and crafts tracker because I knit my spin and I like to do some sewing. This is a parcel tracker, um, so the date that I ordered it, what the item is, and what date it's expected. And then when it arrives, I'll put a line through it or something. That's going to be a weight tracker. Gift ideas, cool stuff to check out. So 
um, films, TV shows and uh, books will go there. I've left that page blank just in case that's going to be my January cover page. Um, I'm probably just going to leave it like that, put hello January and then carry on the sort of sunshine theme. Although, you know, so far right here, January's been rather wet. My month monthly um, tasks that I have to do. That's every week, so I'm not quite sure, you know, I'm still sort of feeling my way, so that's probably wrong. I should probably put that somewhere else. Um, this is my tracker with all my tasks, you know, no caffeine, uh, green dashboard on my Fitbit, do some tarot, get up before half seven, put day face cream on, maybe some makeup, practice my handwriting, clean the kitchen, the bathroom, tidy the lounge, do some Facebook admin work, put the dishwasher on in the morning. Um, the reason I say in the morning and not at night is the pipes clank and they make this god awful noise and keep everybody awake. So the idea is to remember to do it before I leave the house in the morning. Uh, put my night face cream on and any challenges that I'm doing. I quite fancy doing, um, I think it's called Llama's Love Letter of the Day or something. It's a word of the day and um, she basically gives you a word and you have to find out what it is and write it down in a variety of fonts so i thought word of the day could come across here i might do a doodle of the day as well and then i'm gonna do my dailies in here um, as i started it today and i've written uh, my journal arrived today i've spent the last five hours setting it up and i'm not finished yet been great fun though and as it is now 10 to 1 i'm going to bed so you know let me know what you think if you've got any advice or hints or you know uh, what have i done wrong or anything else like that um just yeah let me know thank you